Hi everyone, Princess Edge here. You know how I normally like to draw in an Etch-a-Sketch? That's like, kind of my thing. Today let's destroy it instead. So follow me for a moment. I've been living in Chicago for 11 years, and in one week I move across the country from Chicago to Maryland. So over the years I've been doing a bunch of drawings on Etch-a-Sketch and then setting aside my favorite ones with the idea that I would eventually get around to preserving them. Well, the thing is, it's a lot more fun and ironically a lot easier for me to create the art on an Etch-a-Sketch than it is for me to actually make it permanent. Uh, I do have a video here on YouTube that demonstrates my preservation process and it is time consuming and messy. There is no real major shortcut to it and you have to be careful or else you might actually destroy the art. So. With that said, I have about 24 drawings on an Etch-a-Sketch that I was hoping to eventually preserve, and well, I have one week left until I move. I still have to pack my entire apartment. I've made about 20% progress on that. There is no way I'm going to get around to making all of this art permanent. So let's destroy it. First up, we've got Wanda and Cosmo. Don't know why I showed them in this orientation, and I don't know where Wanda's crown went. But I drew these a while ago, earlier this year, and uh, shared these with Butch Hartman on Twitter, and he retweeted me, which was super freaking neat. I've been wanting to make these permanent for forever, but guess what? Forever is now, so let's erase them. Sweet. This was a request from someone on YouTube when I wanted to make a thank you video for everybody who subscribed to me recently. So yeah, I made a time-lapse video of this. You can see it on my channel. And now you can watch me destroying it right now. Poof. So this Etch-a-Sketch is gonna age me. I rendered this probably, geez, like a decade ago. I don't know. Uh, huge OG fan of Smosh, the Pokemon theme song they did back in like 2007 or something, uh, basically is what got me to create a YouTube account so I could favorite the video. So big shout out to Anthony and Ian. And I, you know, I wanted to make this permanent years and years ago, but it almost feels past the point of relevance at this point. No offense to Smosh, of course, but um, yeah, I think it's time for it to go. Now one thing you'll learn is that some drawings don't erase perfectly away. I feel like this might be one of them, but we'll find out. Oh wow! Okay, actually this one's a beautifully blank slate. Super cool. I only got three words about this one. Mihoi, minoi. Ah, and we've got our first ghost erase. The ghost of Doodle Bob will forever live on on this edge of sketch. In the beginning of Pandemic, I was on a bit of a Pokemon etching kick, which is always a great kick to be on. So here's a twofer. We've got Totodile here and Golbat here. I have a feeling the Totodile's not going to erase that well. I just... When you draw on so many Etch-a-Sketches, you learn pretty quickly which ones are better at erasing than others. So I have a feeling this one's going to be faded pretty well. Um, this one's going to erase completely. So, okay, we'll start with Golbat. And as I predicted, Golbat erased. Okay, now let's see what happens to Totodile. You can even hear that it sounds a bit different when you erase it. It's almost like the consistency of powder to polystyrene beads is a little different from Etch-a-Sketch to Etch-a-Sketch. It actually erased better than I thought, but you can kind of see the ghost of Totodile, which would be like a ghastly maybe? Do ghost Pokemon just become ghastlies, like dead Pokemon? I don't know, that's kind of dark. 10 points to Gryffindor! I always felt like I was more of a Slytherin, but I used to be a Hufflepuff. So I think I'm more of a Slytherin now though. Here's another one that ages me on the internet. So this one's literally got dust all over it. Remember uh, like meme faces, meme reacts? You can see the inside of the Etch-a-Sketch really clearly on this one because I've scraped over so much of the powder. This is gonna be an interesting one to see erase because I've done so much powder removal on the screen, so much etching, I should say. 
So <laughs> this one's terrifying. I'm actually kind of glad to finally let it go. Here we go. Yeah, you can still kind of see it a bit. It kind of figures that this one would haunt this edge of sketch. This one I'm a little sad to let go of. I mean, I, I, I'm kind of sad to let go of all of them, to be honest, but, but this one specifically I'm a bit sad to let go of because this was like a new shading technique that I developed and I really want to experiment with it more. I think it's really cool. Um, so this is a portion of a famous statue called the Loakoan, and I rendered five separate Etch-a-Sketches. It's the first multi Etch-a-Sketch rendition I'd ever done. This one was the only one I kept from the series, but the problem is it doesn't really make a lot of sense outside of the context. So I've been holding on to it, but just yet again, never got around to preserving it. Okay, let's get rid of it. Cool, nice, clean, blank slate. I should remind at this point that most of these drawings took hours a piece to render, so I'm really just completely setting on fire dozens of hours of work right now. This is great. Anyways, okay, so we've got another double whammy here. We've got Meloetta and Musharna. I like that they both start with M. Let's erase them both. Okay, no more Musharna, no more Meloetta. They both fainted in a double battle. And we have everyone's favorite bastard, Jon Snow, who knows nothing. I don't know why I'm trying to make Game of Thrones jokes. I like the show, you know. I have the same complaints everyone else has about Game of Thrones. I made this as a video so you can actually watch it on my YouTube channel, and now you get to watch me erase it. Adios, Jon Snow. Want to see what I'd look like if I had no bangs and I had rainbows for hair? Like that. So a long time ago I didn't have bangs, I'm actually trying to grow them out right now. But uh, yeah. Rainbows on Nencha Sketch don't work that well, huh? But I tried! Audio self-portrait. This Psyduck was rendered a few years ago at an anime convention while I sat by myself in the trading card game area. Kind of socially awkward sometimes. Not really good with people sometimes. I like people. People are cool. But sometimes I just want to kind of sit alone and do stuff. I think that's kind of an artist thing. A anyways, anyways, all right, let's 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 erase Psyduck. Give a good look at it. All right. Poof. This snowman at a ski lift was made for a client and they didn't need the original drawing, I did a time-lapse video for them. So, I don't really know why I held on to this, I just did, and let's get rid of it. Ah, ah, this is one of those that won't erase very well, huh? It's as good as it's gonna get. And we've got another Pokemon twofer. We've got Milotic, which is one of my most recent time-lapse videos here on YouTube, and uh, Deoncey which I also just sketched at an anime convention. This one I was tabling at trying to sell art. So let's erase both simultaneously. Goodbye. So long. Yikes, the sun is going here, so I need to hurry up. <laughs> Here is a Shrek that I etch a sketch during an Instagram Live a few years ago. The etch a sketch has seen better days. It's a bit scratched up, and the line quality is a bit thin on this, but it is a classic Shrek face. I'm still pretty happy with it, but I have another Shrek that I'm trying to sell right now, so I figure I don't need two etch a Shreks. Although, honestly, we could always go for a lot more. Anyways, I have a feeling this one won't erase well either. <laughs> Okay, did all right. I really like this Zatu, but Zatu doesn't really get a lot of love, and I just never got around to preserving it because I figured that it wouldn't sell. <laughs> so, goodbye Zatu. Okay, this one's neat. This one's got a story. This is my first business card, literally. I took a photo of this, and then I would hand out like life-size scale representations of this. It's kind of like a Trump boy sort of thing. So this is my first ever business card and I'd been holding onto it for years 
I don't really know why I would want to make it permanent though. Like, what am I gonna do? Put it on a shelf, I guess? Like, eh, whatever. It's time to erase my first business card. I've since upgraded business cards. And it's gone. Man, some of these, <laughs> some of these etches sketches are dusty. This one doesn't need explanation. It's a classic moment in TV history. I'm glad I captured it on Etch a Sketch, but it's time for it to go. Goodbye, Josh. This one's got a bit of a fun story. A few years ago, I went to Los Angeles and I went to the Getty Museum and I stood in front of this painting by, uh, by Manet and I just sketched it from life. And I'm pretty happy with it, but you might notice that it's already a bit faded. That's because on the flight home, I had it wedged between the handle of my rolly bag and the vibrations from the bag caused minor fading. So I thought, oh, okay, I could get around to like retouching the line work and then making it permanent. And I just never got around to it. So it's time to just let this one go. It was a fun trip though. And last but not least, we have bold and brash, more like belongs in the trash. You gotta be real, that trash throw was really good. It totally cleared the screen. <laughs> and here they are, all the now blank canvases ready for new art, which is kind of exciting in a way and in another way, a little bit depressing because I just destroyed dozens of hours of work. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will need to get back to packing now, so thank you for watching as always, and I look forward to kind of getting back to my regularly scheduled programming once I get comfortable and settled into my new place in Maryland.